In this presentation, we will go through the installation process for QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. At this point, we have the QuickBooks copy. We have downloaded it from the Intuit website, the owner of QuickBooks being Intuit, and we now have the installation package on our desktop. If you've purchased this or got the installation package in some other format, it should be the same at this point because now we have the copy of the installation. We're going to go through the installation, run the installation process, and get the installed software onto our computer system. Here is the software that we're going to set up. This is QuickBooks Setup. Now this is something that we downloaded and purchased from the Intuit website and then put it onto our desktop. If you were to open this straight from the Intuit website as it was downloaded, it would then run automatically and you'll go through the same process. If you purchase the QuickBooks in some other format on say a CD or some other format, you should th then see an icon like this. This of course is not the actual QuickBooks icon that we will be using when uh, going into QuickBooks every day. It's gonna be the icon that we use in order to install QuickBooks. As we run this, what will happen is QuickBooks will then install the software on our computer, typically given a designated area where QuickBooks will automatically install the software, and then we'll be able to run the QuickBooks from there. It's a similar process as you might think of, say, Microsoft Word. If we have Microsoft Word on our computer, on our machine, the Word uh, software is formatted in the Programs section and of the computer, and then we're going to run the files of Word, which we're then going to store somewhere else. So a Word file is, of course, separate than the Word software. We're going to be installing here the QuickBooks software on the machine. And then we will then start some data files that will be used to uh, enter data into that software. So I'm just going to double click on this. It should run automatically. We may then get a message from our machine asking if we want to allow this software to then run on the machine. And of course, uh, we're going to need to allow it to run in order to install the software. QuickBooks is a fairly large program, so it does take some time. So we're going to have to give it some time here in order to finish the installation process. We should then see an installation wizard that should look something like this. This is going to be to facilitate the installation process. We will go ahead and select the next icon to install. Again, QuickBooks is a fairly large program, so this could take some time for QuickBooks to install the program. As QuickBooks installs, we may see a screen that will look something like this during the installation process. We'll then go through the installation setup, which will look like this. We have the Welcome to QuickBooks desktop. This wizard will guide us through the installation process. So close any open programs, especially uh, virus protection programs. There could be, of course, issues when we install new software uh, with any kind of virus protection program. So uh, if there is an issue, that's one of the first places we want to look to resolve it. So we're going to say next here. Then, of course, we're going to have to agree to the terms. So we're going to read through the terms and the licensing here. And of course, I've already done so and it was it was an excellent read. So we're going to accept the terms once done with that and go to next. Now we're going to have to enter the license and product codes. So these are the ones that we had to, if we downloaded it from Intuit, we should have them as we downloaded them. Uh, it had to keep those. Hopefully we hold on, hopefully we held on to those. And, or if we purchased them from the store, like a CD or something like that, then it will be included in the packaging uh, and so we're going to have to have these in order to finish the installation process. You'll recall when we downloaded the software from Intuit in a previous presentation, it looked something like this. We have the download icon and then we have our license number, which is going to be over here and our product number. So we need those two items to finish up this uh, installation process. So we will enter those here and then push forward. Next, we have the default option of the Express or the Custom Network. Typically, for most users, we're going to use the Express. If we need to have the customization for uh, the software, then we probably want to talk to our IT professional and see what kind of setup we need. Otherwise, we're going to go with the Express and recommended setup process. We're then going to have our ready to install information. So QuickBooks 2019, we've got our information here again. Here again is the location. 
uh, on the computer. Now, if you uh, may want to take this information down just to double check, just to make sure you know where the software is, remember that this location has to do with where the software is, not where the data files will be. Then we'll install here. If we had QuickBooks 2018, it might go through a process uh, to upgrade the software here, basically uninstalling and installing the new software. We're gonna have to wait a little bit, of course, once again, software being fairly large in order to uh, update the software or and or install the QuickBooks 2019 desktop version. Finally, we will reach the congratulations page and we can then open QuickBooks from this icon. QuickBooks should now be on the computer, however, as well. So we may want to actually close this and find the icon on our computer, which looks something like this. So we're going to have this item here. It's going to be QuickBooks Pro 2019 that we will have. If we zoom in on that, QuickBooks Pro 2019, this is the icon that we're going to use every time that we log into the software now. Now, once we select a, a file and we start entering data into the system, Remember that this is the software and it's not going to be, uh, it's, it could go to the last file that we were working on, but the files are going to be different in a similar way as Microsoft Documents files are different than the Microsoft, uh, the Microsoft Words program. So the Microsoft Words, the Microsoft Word documents are different than the Microsoft Word program. Within QuickBooks, we will typically open the program each time. We're, we're probably not going to go as we do with Microsoft Office document files and, and go and open the actual document file. What we will do typically in QuickBooks is open the program first and then make sure if it's not defaulting to the last company we were in, given the fact that we may only be working on one company all the time, then we're going to have to go from QuickBooks and open the file uh, from QuickBooks. That will typically be the routine that we use. Once we open QuickBooks for the first time, we may get a message like this, which was asking to activate QuickBooks Desktop. Activate QuickBooks Desktop now to continue using QuickBooks Desktop. So we're going to go ahead and uh, begin the activation process. And then QuickBooks will go through some verification process here. Once you have QuickBooks fully installed and open, you'll see a screen something like this. Now, it may look a little different if you've never worked in the software before. In other words, you, you haven't currently gone into any other files, which typically this first screen will show, those current files that we have been working on. Uh, but we will typically have a create new company, an open or existing, a sample file, and the, the files drop down here where we can start and if it's if we're new to QuickBooks if we're setting up a new company we can set up the new company if we're working in an existing company then hopefully it will update our it will have updated the software then we're going to have to update our data file so we're, we'll then open our data file it should then automatically update or at least automatically prompt us to update that data file to the current 2019 software which we can see up here for more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.